Hello everybody, Nintendo Capri Zone here, and welcome back to Let's Play the new Sound like the end of Around the World by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Bing 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 bing. So, in the last episode, or in the last several episodes, we've been directed to come here to talk to King Tom about the Mornstar, because apparently. How are things, Oliver? Your exploits are the talk of the town and beyond. Indeed, as horny editor of the Daily Yarn, one can say with some confidence that your adventure is the biggest story since the Great Mouse Revolt. Indeed it is. Now see, we were supposed to come here with, uh, the Holy Wood so that he could carve part of the Clarion out of it. The problem is, it got stolen on the way here. It just, Esther had it, and then suddenly she didn't, and we won't want to go into any more detail than that. But, uh, I know where it is, so we're just gonna go straight there. Do this thing. Let's do the zounds. What are we looking at as far as map stuff? Um, nothing. You're taking care of all the side questy character confidence, courage, whatever else issues. What are you gonna say? Oh, I don't know what's come over me lately. I'm just full of vim and vigor in equal measure. Vim and vigor. That's a word you don't see very often. Vim. It reminds me of Paper Mario, or Mario Luigi 2 uh, Partners in Time. There was like the Vim Forest or something where you had to go. And from what I remember, you never actually did get to free those people in that forest. They were still there. Just stuck in the trees or whatever it was. Anyway... So you talk to the people around town to figure out who stole your wood. Or you could just come straight up here. And... Oh. Wait. Okay, apparently there is someone you're supposed to talk to. How can I know who it is? Maybe you're supposed to go under where, you know, he turns up. Like over here. Because this is right about the place that he shows up. I mean, what it is is like the star on the map. Oh, Star on the Map is telling me to go there. Well, that's right, because they say, well, you know, you go shop, talk to the shopkeepers. Because they're the ones who would know. But, hey, wait a minute. I'm sitting right there on the counter. Hello there. Oh, dear, you look quite worked up. Who's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty, rotten thief's pinched our... Hold on a minute. Look over by there, Ollie boy. It's the Holy Wood. Where did you find it, sir? Uh, is that what you caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? thought it would make a rather nice window display. A flipping window display? That's Hollywood, that is! Don't tell me you were planning on wedging weapons in it! You were, weren't you? Mr. Caldermaster, sir, that Hollywood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen? But I've only just bought it, and for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been brooked. Afraid so am I, and whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us, ain't it? Ah, I should have been more cautious. I did wonder how he could have come by such a valuable item. So you know the person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse, the one with the glasses. He's always coming around here hawking his wares. Glasses? But I never thought he was a thief. No, just because you... Just because you say he's guilty doesn't make it true. If you want me to believe you, you're going to have to bring me some poop. But how can we do that? There's only one thing for it, Ollie boy. We're going to have to catch that mouse and get him to confess. Okay, let's do that. We'll get you your poop, sir. Please, do it quickly. I'd hate to think I was handling stolen goods. And the feather is still on the floor. Too right you are. So we gotta figure out about this whole mouse situation. And this is where I got confused, because if you look at the star on the map now, it's gonna say... Wait a minute, where's the... Where's the map? Oh, there it is. It's gonna say to go right here. And we're looking, we're standing right next to it, and it seems like he... Seems like they want me to talk to this lady, but when you do, she just says there are foraging spots dotted all over the world. You should investigate them whenever the opportunity presents itself. And it's like, well, what? I'm right there at it. But apparently, this is what happens. Remember how in that other dungeon there was a star that was kind of misleading because I thought I stood there and there didn't seem to be anything there? And then I went around the side underneath, you know, the star, kind of like in 3D. Well, it's kind of the same thing here. You have to go up here. And if you look at, map, at the map again from this angle, you can see that there's, like, a... You're coming at it from the other side, just above where that woman was we were just talking to. 
Eek, leave me alone. What's going on, dude? Oh, you little pipsqueak. You're the one who tried to make a quick guild of selling Hollywood, aren't you? Squeak, how did you find me? I'll never do it again. Honest, never ever. My name's not Pip. Pip, but why? What made you start stealing? I needed the money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blanket business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have, anyway? Nice try, dum dum. You think I'm telling you? I know you'll just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. Crikey, but blooming touchy, aren't we? There's no need to be so flipping defensive, mouse face. Well, we did just corner him, to be fair. T to be fair. Anyway, let's corner the little. Let's collar the little runt. So, yeah, let's do that, I suppose. Wait a second, you guys. Is it just me, or does Pip really remind you of somebody? You might hate. Yo. You mean he might share a soul? No. He just reminds me of somebody. That doesn't always have to mean something, you know. Uh, Pip, would you mind telling us a little more about your dream? We won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who sleeps with a stupid doll? What? Is that true, Oliver? No, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. Psst. How grown up of you. How about you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby? I do not! I told you, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. Stop taking Mr. Drippy to bed. Oh my god. That is more than anybody here wanted to know. A lot more. A lot. Now, I, I can't look at Drippy's nose the same way anymore. Can't do it. Can't do it. Just cut it out, Phil! Did you just call him Phil? That Maggie Mouse's name is Pip. I'm sorry, it's just what he said. It sounds just like Phil when he's being mean. Blimey? Well, you know what that means. I don't know what you're on about. All I know is you'll never catch me. This rotten rodent is starting to get on my nerves! He's not making things easy for us, is he? What are we going to do, Oliver? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. He can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Hmm. Yeah, well, that, that, that's, that's the truer words have never been spoken, Drippy. Not that soulmates and truths even belong in the same sentence. Well, maybe they do, I don't know. I mean, what do we know about that? 500 years ago, we knew that the world was flat. So you talk to me about what we know, what the truth is. Philip and Motorville, yeah, sounds good. So, I guess we can just go from here. I mean, why not? What else are we going to do here? Okay, so things are about to get a little... crazy up in here. This is actually one of the more memorable parts of the game for me. Mainly because it's really cheesy, but, you know, cheesy in a good way. I don't know, I mean, you might not think so. Oh, you can't run over me! Oh, You and your stupid-ass yellow car. Let's see, so Phil's house is... Wait, wait, what? What do they want me to go over there for? Is that where his house is? It's not the way I remember it, but, uh... I suppose we better check it out. Maybe that is where his house is. I don't know. Um, yeah, there he is right there. Oh my gosh, guys. What are we looking at here? Nine minutes? Uh, we gotta keep going. We can't stop at nine minutes. Phil! Oh, it's you. Like the groundhog, Phil? Yeah, like the groundhog, Phil. Come to get even for what? All I wanted was to build an auto of all my own. Hot rod faster and finer than any other. So this is our friend from the beginning who built the car. Duh, I know, but just making sure everybody knows that. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it... It killed somebody. Gee, uh... It killed your mom! Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't want to worry you, Wally Boy, but there's a funny look in your mate's eyes. Uh, yeah, there is. Oh, God, no, no, no. Phil! Ah! Yep. I knew this was bound to happen. Just when you thought you'd seen the last of these. Oh, seems like they're coming more, more frequently now. Philip's Nightmare. They've taken over a lot of people, but now they got our best friend. 
This is very personal for both Oliver and for me. So I really should have equipped that uh, that thing. Oops, uh, that, uh, that, that thing that I tried to put on land that increases light magic. That would have been good for Oliver, and then I could have uh, maybe um yeah. What was I saying? I could have put it on Oliver and increased his light arrow spell, and maybe done some uh, done some good here. But let's see, healing hand. Might as well start off. Oh, somebody healed me already. Never mind. Which I'd known you were gonna do that. Defend. Should have had everybody defend there, boy. This is a fat one too. This is one of those nightmares that like. Just fattens it right up. Okay, let's uh, get out of that. Oh, let's see. Going for a few more attacks here. We're not going to be able to do much at once here. Alright, let's uh, do this again. <laughs> Dang, he's got pretty... So, I mean, he's got better defense than Land does at this moment. Let me see just how good my Arrow of Light spell is. Oh, wait a minute. Try your luck? Really? Not now. Now is not the time for that. Hey, 126 is not bad. The thing is, that uses a lot of magic, though, so... Let's see, we can get, uh... Nah, I'm just gonna stick with Lamb. Stick with Clump. Stick with Clump?! No, no, see, I just got off the phone with my people up in Langley, Virginia. They said the formula's gonna be here any minute now! What is he doing there, that ill will? He's not following through with that. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the healing, too. Let's keep going here. Fight this guy out real fast. Okay, he's about to go for something here. So we got here. I hope I got that out in time, and I'm not sure. The question is, are they defending? Two, one of them was. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing, Oliver? Holy crap, he's crazy. He's lost his mind. He's out of control. Uh, my, 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 my HP is okay. Okay, let's go back to it then. Jeez. I lost something there. So, uh, a little more there. Do I need to heal myself or somebody here? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Once again, I put it in, but it may be too late. Boom. Oh, man, now I'm asleep again. Oh, thanks, Ree. That's a very, very helpful of you. Uh, I'm not going just yet. I'm going to heal myself one more time. Actually, I might want to heal Esther. Yeah, we're going to do that. There you go. Oh, healthy glow. Thanks. And now, healing hand for myself. Whatever this is, it doesn't seem to be an attack. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But it doesn't seem to be... Yeah, because I keep defending when he comes up with it. And then nothing ever happens, so I'm like, okay. So just, uh... Oops, didn't mean to do that. We're just gonna dance around the subject here until... Oh, man, good time. Good timing, really. I tried to get over, there the, get over there to the square button, but I was trying to get my own defend commanded first. Alright, we're full on life, let's finish this guy off. I think we may be able to do it on this round, but... Um, maybe not. Boy, oh, that was kind of sudden right there, I don't know what he did. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking any chances. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Definitely not as bad as the fight against Kulan's nightmare. Now that was a nightmare. Of course, this time Esther and Swain stayed alive. Swain stayed alive, so you see what a difference that makes. Plus, I had leveled up off of those tokos a little bit, so that probably helps too. So the usual gains here, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. It's the usual crap. You know, it's the usual crap. Let's get through this. We got a big cutscene ahead. Black Blast? What is that? Let me see. 
Ooh, I want that. Um, let's see. Oh man, I don't know. How about this? We'll learn. Yeah. There we go. I want to put that in his set list. I'm not sure. And at this point, we can use those kind of spells now that we got more MP. All of it is all my fault. Flippin' heck, the poor lad's still broken-hearted. Phil! You must really hate me, Ollie. I guess we're not friends anymore, huh? No, I never said that. It should have been me. It should have been me in that car. It should have been me in the river. That way your mom would never have had to save you. That way she'd still be alive. You can't think like that, Phil. It won't change anything. What was I thinking trying to build a car? If I hadn't built that hunk of junk, none of this would have ever happened. Phil, this isn't what my mom would have wanted. She wouldn't want to see you like this. We were trying to make our dreams come true. We were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams. Oh, shit! Oh, I forgot about that. Shit. Oh, man. She just got bitch slapped. Can you listen to a word I said? Your mom's dead because of our dumb dreams. So what do I do now? Build another car? Mess it up again? Get somebody else? Get them? I, I, I can't. <laughs> listen to me, Phil. My mom would never want us to give up on our dreams. I just know it. Do you remember all those times we'd sneak into the car factory? Remember the old guy we made friends with there, the engineer? He told us all about cars, didn't he? And we promised him we'd make a car better than anything Motorville had ever seen. Sure, my mom used to tell us we had cars on the brain, but when she heard us talk about our dream, she'd smile. She'd never really get mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow our dreams. I know she did. Follow our dreams. I know it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up on your dreams. Oh, s yikes. Um... Who's it glowing for? Well, I never. I didn't see this one coming, Ollie boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket glow. Your heart's brimming with ambition. I should have known. But what am I supposed to do? Can I really take a piece of my own heart? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. They can't hurt to try now, can it? And it'll make a change from borrowing from other folks. Go on, man. Give it a go. Okay, here goes. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. I could went and I could wind up dead somewhere. I could wake up in a casket banging on the wood. There it is, our eighth and final uh, thing. Which for some reason I was thinking we already had all eight, but no, we didn't. We never got ambition before. So now we have all eight. And at this point, I guess it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. Jeepers, creepers, that sure felt strange. I guess that must be how all the people who helped us felt, huh? Nice one, Ollie boy. I told you it was worth a try, didn't I? Hold on, Phil. There's something I need to share with you. You're not going to believe this. Why do you get a load of this? How can you say we should follow our dreams? Hmm. <laughs> Before he drives me potty. Sure thing. Here you go, dude. Prepare for the cheesiest cutscene of all time. You know, and it's this, this may not be your thing, it may not be your cup of tea, but you know what? It's part of the game, so... Deal with it. Huh? What did you... What is this? I feel kind of warm inside. Ew. I don't know what's wrong with me, Ollie. I just can't. I just can't stop crying, but I feel all warm and fuzzy, too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. She's telling you to never give up on your dreams. Like I said about eight times now. Never give up. Never gonna give you up. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna rickroll this scene. It means we have to keep on going and chasing after our dreams. I can't let my mom down. I won't! You're right, Ollie. I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. On our dreams. And that's a promise, Ollie. Phil! Oh, boy. Yeah. Ollie. <laughs> I'm going to study hard and go to college. <laughs> You're going to go to college. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Then I'm going to build a car that's safe. A car people can rely on. You see if I don't. 
You're holding that, won't you, Wally? Yeah, I think we got the holding part done already, but, uh... Whatever you say. Now, there's one other thing I gotta tell you, Wally. If you're gonna keep dressing like a weirdo, I can't be seen with you. What? Jeez, I don't look like a weirdo. I look cool, man. If you wanna dress like a crazy, who am I to stop you? Now, I got important things to do. See you around, kiddo. Look at you, you got your shirt tucked in. How... And you're calling me crazy? You, you're calling me a nerd? No, I'm just kidding. Looks like it worked fine, Mr. Drippy. Phil's back to his old self. I've been waiting for ages. Where is he? Oh. Of course we're gonna see this girl again. What's wrong with him all of a sudden? Oliver, I've been waiting. Where were you? I was kind of in the fight of my life. I was kissing my... I was hugging... What? You mean pee's here right now? Yeah, gotta go pee. But how did you get inside? Easy peasy. I can open any door I like. Uh, listen, P, I'm not sure I understand. Who are you waiting for? You silly! I got something to tell you! Oliver, are you sure you'll be alright? Whatever happens. Even if you find out the truth. The truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you'll be alright? Well, I'm not exactly sure what it is you're worried about, P. But as long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. Oh, Oliver, what is it? I'll always watch over you. Okay. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so what did P have to say, Oliver? She only heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her I had my friends with me and that I was going to be okay. Of course you are, Ollie boy. You got the Lord High Lord of the Fairies on your side, ain't it? <laughs> and don't forget me, swashbuckling pervert. But, uh, yeah, as if he'd forget you, Swain. Yeah, I, I don't think I could if I wanted to. And trust me, I do. No, I'm just kidding. Back we go to Ding Dong Dell. Yeah, I guess. Hey, lady, did you see what happened over there? Bow wow wow. What's wrong, boy? He's barking at something behind you. Don't tell me it's a ghost or a Martian or something screwy. It's, I don't know. It's whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go talk to my neighbor again. Did you see any of that? Hello, Oliver. You look full of beans as ever, dear. Yeah, that's right. And here's the proof. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I can't use that here. I'm using the wrong spell. Damn, 23 minutes. I knew that was gonna be a long video. But hey, it was, you know, it was eventful. We got lots done. Plot-wise, it was all plot, no side quests, none of that shit. Trust me, in the next video, we'll be right back at it again. So, hey, why don't we use the same flowers we used that got us started doing this in the first place? Uh, which flowers were those? Were they these? I think it was these ones here. Yeah. Alright, so next time on Nino Kuni, uh, we'll get back to those purple chests, most likely. Well, first we're gonna go talk to the mouse. And, you know, just for continuity's sake to keep that going. Because otherwise you're going to forget what we were doing and why we were doing it. So, yeah. So, of course, you probably do that anyway. See you guys later. Bye.